What's up everybody, welcome back to my kitchen where safety is number one priority and today we're going to put to the test five more kitchen gadgets. Let's see what I got this time. For the first gadget I got here a lettuce slicer right here to adjust the blade. It's actually pretty easy to do. Just go up and down. So we're gonna do pretty thin. Then you go take this out, grab your cabbage, lettuce, whatever. and. Put it right through. This is kind of hard. There you go. You want to put it through the middle. I would say this is close enough. We'll experiment. By the way, this blade is very, very sharp. We're going to put it down like this. And maybe I'm going to adjust it a little bit thicker. And right here, this is the blade. What's going to spin it? Oh wow, you can hold it like this. Wow, this is fast. I can't believe this. Wow, it spins it so well. We take this out, all done. We got here chopped lettuce. This is crazy, wow. This time I'm gonna try to stab it to the side in the middle, just to see how differently it's going to slice it up. You see, the core is on the side. Let's put it in. And this time I'm gonna hold it like this so you guys can see what's happening. Yeah, that's it. You know what, with left hand is kind of hard to do. Let me switch my hands so that way it's a bit more comfortable. You know what, that's not a good idea to put it like that. It has to be this way. Because otherwise it just gets stuck. So, you know what, let's try the, to do the rest this way. Just a half a cabbage. Let's see what happens. This kind of cool view, so that way... <laughs> Even half a cabbage doing pretty good. But the first way was the right way. That's how you want to do it. Okay, I'll move everything away, check this out. Okay, and this is your outcome. This is how it chops the cabbage. For the next gadget, I got here alligator slicer, one of this and one of this. I love onion slicer, let's see if these ones are better. I mostly use this for onions, you can use this for pretty much anything. Just use your imagination. Okay, let's open it up, put the little one first. Wow, check this out, then you flip it, look at that. All the pieces of onion chopped up so well. Let's try this again. Oh, look at that. It keeps it all in there. Let's do a little bit of a bigger onion. See how it does. No problem. Shake it up to break it apart. Now you can flip it over and take this whole thing out. Kind of awkward, but works. And look, if anything stacks in there, you just pull it up and all the pieces of onion comes out. This is actually awesome. Usually it's so annoying to take out all the pieces of onion from here. I like it. It works really, really well as you can see. Now let's put this one to the test. So as you can see it's exactly the same design but it just upgraded. Let's open it up. As you can see everything is about this thing is metal. Oh it's detachable and right here you can replace them by pulling this, releasing this and taking this blade out and put the new one in. So first of all, we're just gonna use this one. Wow, you know what, I'll tell you what. This metal one works even better. And guess what, this is same plastic to release all the pieces. Now let's see what else we have. Oh, check this out, this is garlic slicer. So I'm gonna chop up garlic and let's see if it will work. Okay, there goes nothing. I would put one garlic at a time. 
I must zoom in for the satisfying purpose. Look at that, that is awesome. It's all the way in. Let's do another one. You wanna do it actually really, really fast. Look at that, chopping so well. Definitely one at a time is the best way to go about it. Shake it off, out flip it over, then release this, and boom, you got your garlic right here. Just scrape it off of it, it's kind of sticky. But you know what's the coolest part about this? Now you see all that garlic got stuck in there, no problem, just pull it up and boom, whatever the garlic stuck in there comes off, easy to clean. Now put it in a, I guess, dishwasher machine, no problem. Wanna use a different piece? Pull this out, put this one in, sweet. And look, this one goes for both of the blades. You see, smaller and bigger blade. Check this out. Let's chop a few pieces. One, two, three. So one and a half, pull this out. Look at that. You can chop it up much bigger with this one. I like this slicer way better. It chops up much smaller, perfect for tacos. So honestly, this one is more than enough for me. Look, big, bigger onion, chop two. You wanna go confident in there. Don't squeeze your fingers, hold it this way and flip it over, whoops. And you got your sliced up onion. How cool is that? For the next kitchen gadget, I got a Sinan TV, slicer, and peeler. So this has got to be the peeler, and this has got to be this slicer. Okay, let's see how they work. First, I'm going to peel things up. Oh, wow. Looks like it peels it really well. No complaints, lightweight. Peels it pretty good uh, to where it's not too thick, so we're not wasting half a carrot. Ow. It is sharp, got my finger, almost cut myself. So I would wear some kind of glass protection using that because safety is number one priority. What about cucumber? Wow, check this out. Big slices. This makes it super easy too. Check this out. Now, what's next, what we're going to put to the test is the slicer. This way. Wow, no way. Check this out. This is little pieces. I'm gonna go as fast as possible. It's kind of getting stuck to it. Whoops. I'll hold it better. Check this out. This is the best. I would probably even put it on a table now that I'm ironing out. Check this out. I wish it would kick it out. I'd have to use my hands to move it away. But this is very sharp. Definitely the best one I have put to the test. And look at this. All this sliced up so well. Put it on your salad, whatever. This is so much easier to eat the cucumber like that. Now let's start with something much uh, thicker or dense like carrot. Carrot doesn't stick as bad. You know what? Maybe it's easier to set it down. Wow, this is works really well. Whoops. The thicker the carrot you got, the easier it will be. This time I'm gonna set it on the ground right away. Look at that, works really well. Just kind of gets stuck sometimes and you have to pull this out. But no complaints, look at that. It's slicing it so well. At the end there with carrots get stuck and carrots break off sometimes. But honestly, look how awesome that is. 
but you saw it with cucumbers it was awesome with carrots you still get the result after a while you cannot peel it let me flip it over get stuck a little bit just follow through it but again no complaints look at that look how long these pieces are very nice I'm very surprised, this SC9TV gadget definitely works really, really well. For the next gadget, I got here artichoke stir, artichoke tool. So, let's see how it works. Okay, looks like we just have to chop it through like this. Also, I didn't have to chop the steam off, but oh well. Looks like you just push it through. Whoops. It's a lot harder than I thought it would be. There you go. Boom. Wow. Check this out. That is super cool. Also, then they say you remove this with this tool. All that first stuff. Very interesting. Wow. And you got perfectly caught artichoked. I can't believe it. Let's try this again. That was actually pretty cool. Just slowly keep going. I thought I'd have to really smash it. It's all about consistency. It's not that hard. Push it all the way and then pull it out. How cool is that? Wow. And then once again, this side here is to remove that stuff. And boom, there's your core. And this is a perfect core. Can you believe it? Wow. And once you're done, just wash it and put it away, just like that. Pretty awesome. If you love artichoke and you buy that stuff all the time, that could be very useful. Look at that perfect cord piece. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below which gadget was your favorite. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.